In Module 4, we're going to switch gears to a different data set and work with some more advanced corridor techniques. The first one is Alignment Offsets. This is found on the Home tab of the ribbon under Create Design, Alignment, Alignment Offsets. We're going to pick our parent alignment, which is our centerline road alignment. We can have the option in the dialog box to pick a different alignment if we selected the incorrect one. Uh, we can specify a range for our offsets from the start to the end of the alignment, or we can specify a specific uh, station to stop and start at. I'm going to stop my offsets at station 3700. I'm going to offset one alignment on each side to the left and right, and I'm going to offset those 12 feet. I'm not going to add any kind of automatic widening criteria. I'm just going to go ahead and do two 12-foot offset alignments. If I select the resulting line work, you see that they are alignments. The contextual menu comes up, and I'm going to select Add Automatic Widening, and I'm going to automatically widen the inside curve here uh, along this alignment, and it allows me to select the entire alignment or only at selected curves. I'm going to do this only for this first curve to begin with, and then I'm going to specify the criteria. For this alignment, I do have super elevation defined. I'm going to apply the automated widening only to the inside curves. Uh, this is set at a 45 mile per hour design speed. It's a two lane road, uh, undivided, crowned, with a 12 foot lane width. Uh, once I select OK, the widening is created. It, uh, it's subtle, you can barely see it. Uh, but it is created, and you'll notice that the widening can be modified. There's a lock icon that displays. But the widening panel does display now, and we can go in and add more widening if we want. Uh, and I am going to do that. You can see that the, the options here under the automatic widening are they're grayed out because we can't go in and change anything. I have the button here to select the help file that explains anything in here that's unfamiliar. But I want to go in and do uh, another widening on the left side of this alignment. So I'm going to select the left alignment offset and then add a widening. I'm going to manually type in my stations here. I'm going to go from station 300 up to station 1500 and I'm going to add a widening to this offset alignment. Now, it asks you to specify the widening offset. One thing you have to be careful of is the offset it's asking for is offset from the parent alignment, not the offset alignment. So my offset is 24 feet, uh, and this is 24 feet offset from the parent. Now, when I create the widening, I have three different regions, the transition in, the widening region itself, and then the transition out. And you can see the various transition types that we have here. Uh, we have various curves and tangents combinations. I'm going to go in and just select a simple linear transition. Uh, that'll make things look a lot better. I won't have to worry about any kind of curve tangencies. Now I can specify the transition taper type. Uh, which is either by length or by ratio. I'm going to set my uh, transition length to 150 feet. I'll leave everything by default in my widening region. Uh, I did want to show that... Uh, all right, I'm going to set my transition length there, but I do want to show that you can change that taper ratio. Uh, right now it's set to 1 in 12 and a half, and I'm going to change that to 1 in 25 which creates a much longer transition. Well, actually, it doubles the transition length to 300 feet, which we'll see if we change that taper ratio back to by length. And then I can change that back manually to 150 feet. These widenings are dynamic. Uh, you can see if I select the offset alignment, I have various grips. This one allows me to add another widening. 
the triangular grip allows me to change the offset of my alignment. And I have the option to change the offset uh, tangency lengths, uh, various transition options there. If you select that particular grip, the uh, other grips will appear. I can add another widening. You can actually add a widening to a widening if need be. Uh, so these grips allow you to do some nice graphical editing. 